Welcome back guys, it's episode 8 of the Compact Sky, a let's play on Sky Factory 4 with me, your host, Dan Rob's Probs. <laughs> anyway guys, you guys are absolutely loving this, as I keep saying anyway, but yes, look at this, I've kind of been, been, been you know, getting a bit of automation going on here, kind of tidying it up a bit. So I'm in the uh, 7x7 Compact Cube. And I've got a full tank of lava, a full tank of water, and that holds 64 buckets, which is lovely. And I've kind of set this up now, so it's kind of the, like this. But this chest, oops, that's not the chest. This chest is getting quite full. I've made myself some diamond buckets because you can actually put 10 buckets worth in one bucket. But it does go higher than that. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much that for a minute. Uh, not really too much going on here. I've just hooked this up to try and get some quartz because I feel like quartz is going to be quite valuable at some point. So, because uh, I obviously I can't get a quartz tree right now. So we've got a bit of a plan today. And today I want to go ahead and kind of get this kind of finishing off, if you know what I mean. So I want to get the ender seeds, okay? And I want to get this bean boozled. <laughs> Which is apparently a magic bean. Now, this is super cheap to uh, craft, so if I just type this in, I think it's just a cactus and four seeds, if I remember right. Yeah, it is. But if we go and read the information, grow a magical plant that gives a random junk or treasure when harvest. No idea, <laughs> but we're gonna have a go at that. So how do I get the ender pearl? That's the question for the seeds, okay? Now, I've been digging and digging and digging, and I think I need to get myself a chorus fruit, which is basically, I need liquid purple slime with an apple. Then, I need to grow grow this on some endstone. But for me to get endstone, because I don't think, well, I'm not going to be able to get any ender pearls until I get this chorus plant, if you know what I mean. So I can't really get to the end, because I need eyes of ender to make the cake. But yeah, all I need to do is get some lava and pour it on some glowstone. Now, I know there is a glowstone sapling. I am pretty sure there is. I've 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 seen it somewhere. But let's just have a quick look. And maybe there's something else I can get glowstone from. What's that grinding? An acorn makes that. Okay. Uh, uh, glowstone ingot. Bacon. That's my crusher. What about my manufactory? No, it's just the bacon. Okay, uh, let's have a quick look. Let's have a look at glowstone sapling. There it is. Okay, redstone sapling, blaze powder, quartz resin. I don't have that. And a min mineral, mineral. Well, that actually drops blaze powder. That's quite interesting. Uh, how do I get a quartz sapling again? Ah, uh, yes. This is like becoming a massive circle. Now I actually need soul sand. But to get the soul sand, it's going to be really hard for me because I can't go to the nether. Well, you've seen what happens if I go to the nether. Uh, so I need to make all this stuff. And this is where this is all going. I need to get myself a simulation chamber. Because I can't actually get hostile mobs unless I grow them or simulate them, I guess. So first of all, let's do this magic bean. And I would like to know if there is actually... Does it have like a, ta like a little example of what it can drop? No, can't see anything like that. Uh, but it doesn't say what to grow this on. So we'll try just some dirt and yeah, we'll go from there. Oh, they're going orange. Yellow, <laughs> green, blue. Oh my God, these things are crazy. Dark blue, green, yeah, purple. So it's like the rainbow kind of thing. Oh, it's mature. What did I just get then? A dead bush and a, a lilac. Right. All right, well, I'm going to grow a couple of these and see what things I get. And maybe I can get something cool from this. I think it could be just plant-based things, though, right? It seems to be a bit of a theme here. Oh, I thought it would be nice, you know, maybe I could have got, <laughs> for example, an ender pearl. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? But... Anyway, I'll, I'll grow a load of these, see what we get, and I'll be back. So it turns out, guys, I've been being boozled. Yeah. I don't think you can really get anything exciting apart from anything that is like a seed or a plant or anything, as you can see in my hot bar. Uh, yeah, this is, the only good thing really is the mycelium. I don't know if that's quite powerful in this mod pack, though. 
I'm yet to uh, investigate, but that's pretty cool I got that. I would class that as a rare drop, I would say, but I got an onion and stuff. Pretty cool. But anyway, let's uh, lift all these up, see what else things we can get, but my hot bar is pretty full. Um, as you can see, it's just a load of different seeds and stuff. Bit disappointing, really. I thought maybe we could get some, uh, you know, like ender pearls or something. But hey, it was worth a shot, right? Um, but anyway, it was a challenge. So regardless, all good stuff. Oh, we actually get the beans back as well. That is pretty OP, really. So I wish I made them earlier on and saved me buying things from the market. But it is quite random, but you can get a load of different cool stuff. So... Top tip for you there, if you uh, want to get some cheap seeds and stuff, just make one of them. You just need a cactus and four seeds and yeah, you'll, you'll be pretty good to go. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. To put... Oh yeah, I've got loads of room. Okay. <laughs> so I could just shift all this in there. Pick up the rest here. Which is pretty good. And what are they? Unfamiliar item. Okay. I don't know what that is. Twilight Forest. Right, I'm yet to uh, experience that. Melon, yeah, peony. I'll just put them in there for now. Okay, well, that's ticked off, so pretty good. So we still need to go ahead and make these ender seeds. And then there's these two challenges, which are going to take forever. But to me, to get a lot of these uh, animal seeds, I need certain things like rotten flesh and God knows what. Um. So yeah, let's start this process. So... What I need to do is get myself an apple. Now, I know I can get an apple tree from the market, so I'm going to go ahead and get one, but I could just... What's the chance of that? 30, 70, right? Definitely need an apple tree. Um, right, so let's find the market quickly. And we got a apple set in there. So I shall be back once i got a couple of apples, really. Um, but just quickly, before I do go, I need to get some... a purple slime sapling. <laughs> which is that one so we need to get some disabilized disabilized is that correct redstone uh, right so what I need to do is cook some redstone resin and basically chuck it in a cauldron but I think it's only one bottle right or does it actually mean it needs four so it might need four um okay so I'm gonna mount up some uh redstone resin as well actually so let's have a quick look before I do go because we are waiting around anyway for apples. Um, I don't know how many to go for. I want to show you this smattery area anyway. So this is kind of like a win-win thing. So I'll settle this up here. Uh, I'll just ditch these for a minute. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get apples really fast. Because it's 70%, uh, wasn't it, it said? Oh, look at that. It's got little apples on it. Do you see that? Uh, there's going to be a bit of problem here, isn't there? Because... Oh, uh, we got some already. Wow, pretty quick. Anyway, we'll go to the smeltery. So I'll show you what I've done here. Now, I was pretty proud of this. I thought this is pretty cool. So there was a quest, if I go on Age of Power, for a clicker hero. So I was looking around, and I found this machine here, which is an automated user. Now, this actually replicates the user. And yes, it's currently right in front of it, and it's... Basically, what it does is right-click as if you were the player playing. And what it's doing is whenever there's stuff inside here and it can be, like, put into a ingot, it will do it for me, basically. But I think it can't do a cast of that type. But anyway, I need to just chuck them in. That's all going to get mounted, look. And then I can just pour it in there, probably, and take it out with a bucket. So, that's pretty good. But basically what I've done is set up that and I could set it to three by three and it will actually pour out me metals into that as well. As you can see, I've been doing quite a bit of grinding with iron and this is all hooked up to make lava for me forever. So it's pretty much the same thing, but it's got an input and an output. And the input is obviously cobblestone from the cobblestone generator. It's just feeding free with a hopper. And yeah, I got these combustion things. I made them, they're cheap, whatever. They, they kind of work. I mean, you know... It's a bit easier than me just standing here for a bit. It's still not brilliant, but yeah, whatever. Disabilize redstone. It's in there. You can see. <laughs> okay, cool. So one bucket. Yeah, perfect. Right, so now I need to go and get a blue slime. Okay, one of them. Go back to the smeltery, and we're going to make this into purple. There we go. Perfect. Oh, so it has actually only used one bottle. 
So that is actually telling us a lie there. It says four, look, makes one. So I could go and make three more. So that'll be better because then I can speed up the process here. So one, two, three. Let me go back into smeltery and boom, boom, boom. Oh no, it is right. Hmm, that's a bit strange. So I've got the purple sapling here growing on the green slimy dirt. And I didn't mention, I've actually started using the um, like tools I've made. So I made a mattock as well um, because it was part of the challenge. So I thought I may as well use it. And that's pretty much what I've been doing. I I'm using these because I want to level them up basically. Um, I don't need you anymore, buddy. So you can go and I can get rid of that now. Uh, that's all good, and yeah, we're kind of just waiting around for a bit of this congealed, congealed is it, sorry, congealed, um, you know, like the block or whatever it drops, I think it's like the actual woke, isn't it, really, uh, surely this is getting quite full now, yeah, look at this, oh my god, oh, this actually gives you effects, does it, okay, uh, so we got 30% of getting one of them, but we get quite a lot of leaves, so I think I'm going to have to get my old crook out, and yeah, hopefully I can get some more saplings quickly. Damn. It's a super slow sapling to grow. Uh, There's got to be a way of getting glowstone in there. Haha! -ha! So I've only got one option to get some glowstone, and that is grow some witches. Um, so that's pretty cheap for me. Redstone seeds and a bottle, I can easily do that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, grow some witches to get some glowstone. And if you remember why I actually need the glowstone is to get the endstone because obviously I need to pour it a lava onto there. So I'm gonna kill some witches and hopefully I've got um, some grass right now. Oh yeah, I've got a bit. Um, so finally, I've got to do a bit of combat. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need an armor. How much damage has this got? 6.8. Okay, so my mattock is actually better, so that's okay. I reckon I'll be able to smash a couple of witches with that. Right, let's just do this right here. And hopefully... Oh, wow, look at them. They're really green. I'll start them off a bit. Right. Oh, no, yeah, when they're mature, you have to break them. Right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Oh, what the hell's that? A witch head. <laughs> oh my god, that's brilliant. Dad's a witch, dad's a witch. <laughs> so far, not so good. I didn't get any glowstone. Perfect. We just got four pieces and voila. <laughs> So, I'm going to grow these ones anyway, but let's quickly sort this out. And actually, I did not need that butter kit of milk. Right, let's craft one of these congealed purple slime blocks. And now let's go back to the smeltery and cook this little fella up. Okay, it's not that fast. Um, right, and now we need to hook this up again. Boom, we got some of that purple gel in there. And... Oh! Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even know that was one. Wow, we just got ourselves a level nine. Wow, that's quite interesting. I've kind of obtained that before the Eye of Ender one. Whoops. Uh, obtain a block of end stone. Well, I'm going to be able to get that one as well. Oh, dear. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm happy about that, but I didn't really expect that. Whoops. Oh, well. Anyway, we'll make four of them. Oh, I only got three apples, right? Okay, fair enough. Well, that's pretty good. That's that done. We get in there now, right? And put that there, and put my piece of glowstone there. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be getting another nine by nine now. Oh my god! That should make end stone, right? I think I can see it turning. <laughs> All this just to get an ender pearl, but I've unlocked more space. There we go. <laughs> Two nine by nines. Oh my god. I don't know what to do with them right now. I'm a bit confused. I don't even realise I have actually how did I get them? That's a bit easy, I think, in my eyes. Um considering if you're playing on this pack, you kind of have to do it like this. 
Because there's no other way of getting an ender pearl apart from making a chorus flower. Um, but anyway, cool. That's all we wanted to do. Let me rip that out. Come here, you. Boom! Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> that is extremely slow. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Uh... Well, I may as well grow these witches then, right? And see if I can get some more glowstone and try and do that again for a laugh. Um, oh, I didn't actually hook... Th oh, no, it's okay. All right, I'll see if I can get some more and we'll be back. And then hopefully I can get an ender pearl and make this deep learning, this stuff here, the simulation chamber. Because all of this is just basically for this. What the heck? Because all I want to do is get some soul sand, basically. I can't remember off the top of my head why I want it. I think it's for the um, quartz sapling. Oh, wow. So I got three mature witches here. I'm going to have to do one by one, I think. What? Did you see that, guys? <laughs> A pig just spawned right next to me. Get out of here, you. Talk about pigs. Let's go and have a look at my pigs. Now, I just want to quickly show you this. I've removed everything here, and I've made one of those massive chests as well. And, yeah, I made, I've made i got two iron pigs on the go. And as you can see, it's working pretty well. So I made this custom one for me, 10 by 9. That being because there's nine actual pigs here. And 10 item slots. But I've done two iron because, obviously, I'm going to be getting more iron because there's two of them. So, all in all, that's pretty good about the pigs, I think. I know a lot of you saying in the comment section they're not very valuable, but for me, they're perfect. I mean, I don't want to have too much going on because, yeah, I don't have a lot of space. But now i got two large compact machines. Jesus. I, I need to go and have a look at these. I don't know where to put them. Can I? I probably can just put one up there. Oh, I like the texture on that one. It's obsidian with green. Now, I like green a lot. So let's go and have a look. Oh, yeah, much bigger. Look. It's... It's getting better now, isn't it, guys? Oh, it's crazy. So, yeah, I got two of them. Christ, what the hell am I going to be doing in them? Automation, I think, of this. That's what I think. Ah. So, unfortunately, I only got two pieces. Not so good. Um, I mean, I could make more witches and go for that, but really, I can't be bothered. I think it's all right. I'm just going to have to leave that one for now, um, unfortunately. But anyway, let's have a quick look at this simulation uh, chamber, which is that. So I need some lapis, a redstone comparator, a piece of glass, and soot-covered machine casting, which is a soot-covered plate and some soot-covered redstone. What's that? Okay. Oh, that's how you make the plating. So it's obsidian with that. Okay, pretty cool. I've already made some obsidian anyway. Now, this soot-covered redstone. Now, let's have a quick look at this. So it's covered redstone. Oh, it says there. Crafted by crushing redstone against a block of coal. Left click. Interesting. I don't even know if I've got that much coal, have I? Oh, I've got 36. Luckily for me, I made a coal piggy, right? <laughs> so what you do is crush this on there. Well, that's quite interesting. Um, I've, luckily, I've got some redstone now, actually. I don't really know how to go for, so let's just go for 10. Um, can I put that down? Oh no, I put it on the floor. Left click then. Oh wow, yeah, that does actually do stuff. That is pretty interesting, isn't it? It's just literally as easy as that. Yeah, slightly darker. Okay, cool. Fair enough. And let's just plop all that back in there. And yeah, let's have a look at this. Um, Once again, simulation, that's right. That, that, that. Right. I don't know how many of these I need, so I'm going to go for two. That should be pretty good. Uh, obviously, we're still waiting on ender pearls for that, unfortunately. But I reckon we can make one of these. I need the one. Oh, I'm missing iron. Luckily for me, if I go to my smeltery, I'm pretty iron rich over here. <laughs> now, the reason I haven't got much iron is because I was making loads of these hopping bonsais. Um... But hey ho, it's all done now. I can get rid of that and that as well, actually. And yeah, let's get back on here. Do that. One of them. Perfect. 
Uh, we don't really need any more of them. So it's just literally a bit of a waiting game now. I've got quartz for that. I can make some redstone torches. Uh, I think I need three for a comparator. That I can make one of them now. I think I got the stone anyway, so that's cool. Perfect. I just kind of think it was something like that. That or was it only two of them? I don't even know if I need them actually for the recipe. No. It's lapis and then a glass pane, right? So let's have a quick look. Got some glass here, so we make some panes. Perfect. Easy. So I'm literally waiting on some ender pearls now. Boring. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do? I mean, let's have a look at ender seeds quickly because if I can get one ender pearl, maybe I can make the seeds. Hang on. There is some other seeds because I think it's from an ender carrot, right? Permanent cycle jump. But it, I think if I feed an ender carrot, yeah, to a little piggy, he drops ender pearls. Now that could be a quicker way than waiting for this to grow. Because this, my god, <laughs> it's going to kill me. How slow that is. So I feel like that's probably a better idea. So once I get one ender pearl, I can make an eye of ender. And then I attach that with a carrot by the looks of it. Look, feed that to a piggy. There, that's a better idea, right? Okay, well, let's go and have a quick look at my pigs and see which one I don't really need. And um, possibly this seared brick one, I think. So, I'm sorry, buddy. By the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can actually pick these fellas up as well. It's quite funny. Because they don't actually move, it's quite funny. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> yeah, but that's just what I've been doing. I mean, it's not even any hassle at all playing around with these pigs. Yeah, they do move around, but... Like this one here now. Let I could just pick him up. Oh, put him there. He's fine. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna combine all this together and remove this whole seared brick one. So there we go. I've combined all that together. As you can see, I've just put the seared brick like that for now, just to stop any issues. The problem with these truffles is they're all exactly the same picture, so it's really hard to differentiate between them. So I'm just gonna leave that like that for now until I get enough to fill it up. Uh, I'm gonna cook all this up. And yeah, should we go and have a look if we got an ender pearl? I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to obviously do that. Hopefully I've got enough, I don't know. Uh, I shall stick this on, whoa. If I put that on three by three, you'll see if I do that, it actually does this three by three area. And it will actually touch this. So if I get enough, um, you know, molten iron in there, it will actually cast that as well. So it's a lot cheaper than actually using like a couple of machines, which is pretty good, I think. Now to get the quartz tree originally, I need quartz, a neverack, and an emerald sapling, easy. But it's this magma slime crystal. So I need to cook this up in the furnace. But I need slime balls, easy. Magma cream, easy. Neverack, easy. But it's the soul sand, which is a problem. Now I need a hellish matter and some sand to make this thing. Or I can go down the route of this. Now I don't think I'm going to be able to <laughs> get some wither dust pretty easy. I think really going down the route of some soul sand is probably the best way. Um, you know, using this uh, deep mo mob learning mod. Now someone did mention in the comment section of last episode about this experience pylon. Now I did look at this last time, but apparently if I go up to it with a bottle, I think I can actually take experience from it. So shall I go ahead and craft this anyway? It's pretty cheap. Um, I'm just gonna have to cook up some Neverack, which isn't a problem, but we're kind of waiting around anyway. So what the hell have I got to lose? Um, either way, I'm gonna have to make this deep mob thing anyway. We've got terracotta in there. Oh, uh, that's a quick point, actually. I did do some other little quests. I made this sprinkler one, and I made this stay hydrated one as well. And I made one of these diagonal fences, but I don't really understand what they're for. Um, they're just pretty much the same thing. I, I don't really understand that. Right, from my calculations, I think I'll be able to craft this thing. So let's see what this thing does. It looks like the thing of Sims, right? Ooh, collect orbs. Drain experience from the player. Yes, please. Oh, we can do loads, look. Not enough experience. 
Okay. It's got 22,000 experience in it. Uh, always on. Requires redstone. Collect nearby XP orbs, then release your bottle... Release or bottle them later. You can also deposit experience directly. So, can I just go up to that with a bottle, for example, now? And kind of, like, nick it off it? No. Do I need to physically put them in? Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, wow, look at this thing. <laughs> All right, we could be getting somewhere here. So, can I go to my smeltery now? And... Oh, no, no, no. We want to put that there. And I want to take all this lava out of here. So I should be able to. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. No, that's not correct. I don't want to throw that. Uh, what about if I take... No, you off. Can I just put this in there? No. No, that's just me throwing them again. Uh... Mm. Can I... Oh my god, you can fill up buckets from that thing. Okay, so I've got 10 buckets worth of experience. I think we're onto something here. Okay. Okay, now... There we go, we've got the green stuff in there. <laughs> so I could get soul sand like that. Oh wow, I'm such an idiot. Well, we got a pop chorus fruit and no uh, ender pearls. Okay, so that's pretty good actually. Um... So thanks very much whoever suggested that in the comment section. I did have a look at it, but for some unknown reason, I thought you couldn't get the experience uh, like liquid form because I thought it was requiring a prestige point. Uh, so all I need now is some sand, right? And if I go back into, not the piggies, sorry. If I go back into the smeltery and put the sand here and obviously take my little tap off again, the little faucet. And yeah, we should be able to get soul sand. <laughs> it says there, uh, recipe soul sand at the top. Perfect. Well, there we go. So I've made some soul sand as well today. So we've got end sand, end stone, sorry, and soul sand. Perfect. Maybe it's just not registering it on there. No, I do need the orange slime. Okay, so I'm probably guessing that I need to. Have a look at this. What do we put that in there? Blazing pyrophrium. Pyrophrium. Ooh. So I need four of them. I need to go and cook them up. And put that in a cauldron. So I shall be back in a second. And we're going to dip this purple slime sapling into it. And it should give me the orange one, which is what I need. So now I can get the quartz sapling. Gotta say, this stuff's pretty cool in it with the animation. I quite like that. Um, so this stuff does take quite a while to cook in this little uh, melter. It's extremely slow. But yeah, I need a temperature of 1,000, which is exactly what I've got. So anything hotter than this is going to be a bit of an issue. Um, but yeah, basically, I'm going to melt that down. From my calculations, I need four of these, which should equal one bucket. Chuck the bucket in there, and then we're going to dunk the sapling in there. Then we should be able to hook this up with another hopping bonsai. So let's prepare that quickly. And we just need one of them. And one of the uh, slimy dirt things. And we just need a item cable. So, so I'll put that there, that there, that there. That's all ready. Still haven't got any ender pearls yet, which is crazy. Um, get rid of that now. And are we, is this, yeah, like some liquid in there, like, Let's have a look. Yeah, so 750, so one bucket is obviously 1,000. Technically, a one litre. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to just uh, cut this bit, and I should be back once I've got what I need, right? Okay, guys, the fluid is in there. It's in there. There we go. Blazing stuff is in there. There it is. So here we go. Oh, have I messed up here? Slime. Blazing pyrophium. Yes, this is what I've done. Oh, it's the blue slime. Oh my god. I thought it was the purple. Alright, alright. Please don't kill me. 
That's cool. I can make. I can get a couple of them then. Right. <laughs> oh no, I won't. It'll only be one, right? Yeah, because I need more. Well, that actually used up all of it. Wow. Okay. Cool. So let's see if I can get this done, and then we'll call it because it is getting on. But I've done so much today. It's been absolutely brilliant. Guys, I'm such an idiot. I could just grow this in the 9x9 nine nine area, right? <laughs> right, let's wait for this one to grow. Let me take this out and I'll go and grow it myself. Because I've got a massive area now. Come here. Well, we got some uh, leaves anyways, possibly. I need a couple of slime balls. Oh, I didn't get any. Okay. Bin that. Right. Let's go in one of these. Plant this thing right here. One there, one there, one there, and let's twerk. <laughs> I could just use the crook then, can't I? Get slime balls. There we go, perfect. A lot quicker. And saplings, look at that, lovely stuff. Right, so we got some slimy magma mud. And we need one of them and we need to cook that up and it should make this magma slime crystal then i need to get myself a another piece of neverack like so remove that chuck that there uh, this is all to make the quartz sapling remember and if i get a one of them to be fair though i'm just going to go back to my nine by nine and do it that way <laughs> Basically, I want to get resin, so then I can get um, glowstone. Then that being, then I can speed this up because I still have not got an ender pearl. Now I don't know the drop rate. Let me just quickly have a look. I think it was thirty percent. Oh, 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 one percent. <sighs> I'll do all that, and hopefully we'll get an ender pearl. Man, I didn't realise it was 1%. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right, let's go do this some growing again. Wow, just from the one tree, seven saplings. Well, six technically. That is absolutely impressive, man. So let's have a quick look at the glowstone sapling again. Oh, I need this mineral stuff as well. Um... I'm pretty sure I actually made one of them, but I know I cooked it down. Now, I think from the top of my head, it was lapis, right? Yes, a lapis sapling with water. Now, have I got, how many of these lapis saplings have I got? One. And I can make one with dark oak, okay. But have I got any lapis leaves? 19, look, so possibly I can get one in. Come on. Yeah, we got two. Perfect. Easy. One of them. Uh, let's just. Ooh, my chest is full. Oh dear. <laughs> wow. I can't believe it's full. <laughs> I need to start storage, I think. I think I need to move to a 9x9 area and start the storage kind of system going. Right, so we've got one cauldron down. Let's take a bit of water, fill that up, and we're gonna make this mineral, there we go. Mineral sapling. Now, let's go and get some dirt and grow this little fella up. Right, I don't know what's going on there. Let's just grab some bone meal. Just bone meal it. I don't think it's working with the twerking thing. Oh my God. Is this, too tr is this a really, really tall tree? Is, it? is that what's wrong here? I think it could be. It could be taller than this. Okay, so we're going to have to use the bonsai for this one, I'm afraid. Possibly it's an absolutely massive uh, tree. There we go. One glowstone sapling. Perfect. Get rid of all that. And let's start this baby growing. Perfect. No, Dan, what are you doing? Let's go and grow it properly. Uh, I've still got that on me, yeah? Cool. Because then I'll be able to do this a lot quicker. Oh, I must say, just actually chopping down trees is lovely. Look at all these saplings. <laughs> 50! 
15! Oh my god, that is absolutely insane. And I only grown five trees, man. That's crazy. Anyway, brilliant stuff. I'm going to keep a couple of these on the go because I'm probably going to need quite a lot of endstone. If that's got a 1% chance of dropping, yeah, I I don't know. I'm, I don't know how many of these to put on, actually. I think I've got a spare one there, right? There we go. If I keep three of them and keep the chorus on the go, that's all good. Um, so how the hell do we actually make glowstone with this stuff? I presume it's, uh, yeah. All right. Lovely, 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 lovely stuff. Right, let's go and hook these up with some... I need some more of my item. There we go. Let's make a nice little row here. One, two, three, four. Dink, dink, dink. And all of these, please. Cool. So hopefully I should be back when on episode 9 with an ender pearl. But that is pretty much it guys. We have got so much cool stuff done today. I can feel like the next mission we're going to take a trip to the end. Um, there's obviously an end dimension. But I don't really know what I'm going to expect there. Uh, just quickly I did make the cake area. I made this hunting cake. Now if I actually go in here and just show you this. It's a bit weird. <laughs> so as you can see, it's pretty dark in here. And yeah, I was like, whoa, we can actually get out of this one. So I made a ladder. And yeah, just, just watch this. Um, yeah, there's barriers just there. <laughs> uh, yeah. I... I don't know, guys. I don't think we could get out of here. But again, if I hit F7, yeah, mobs can spawn here. But it's just not. It's a chunk, isn't it? Well, how big is this? Is it like 13 by 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Possibly 13 by 13 or 14 by 14. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there. I've got to eat this bit of cake to get back. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I know it's quite dark in here, but whatever. We've got so much done. Episode 9, we're going to be going into the end, hopefully. I don't know if there's an end of dragon. I don't know what to expect. But yeah, all tips are much appreciated, as always. And once again, thank you for the continued support of this series. I'm absolutely loving this as much as you guys are. So anyway, thanks very much. Bye!